Lois Maxwell is well known for her role as Miss Monopenny in the James Bond movies, a part that made her famous during Hollywood's golden years. When she first appeared in this role, it was a big moment in movie history and left a strong impression on viewers. Her way of playing the character was special, full of charm and humor, and she became a favorite in the series. For many, the first introduction to Lois Maxwell was through these films. Her scenes with James Bond were enjoyable and added a great touch to the movies. Her acting didn't just shape the character of Moneypenny, but also show what how important supporting roles can be in making a movie popular and successful. We'd like to hear from you now. Do you have a favorite memory or a personal story about Lois Maxwell? Maybe the first time you saw her in a movie or a particular moment that you remember well. We value your stories and memories, so please share them in the comments below. Stay with us as we explore more about her life and career. There are many interesting, surprising, and sad details about her time in Hollywood that we're going to look into. Keep following to learn more about this well-known Hollywood actress. Lois Maxwell's career in movies goes beyond her famous role as Miss Moneypenny. She added depth and a unique personality to a character that could have just been in the background. Her skill in showing emotions and small details in a subtle and elegant way made her acting stand out. She was more than just a secretary to James Bond. She played a character that people could relate to, adding a human element to the exciting and stylish world of 07. Her acting career lasted for many years and showed with how versatile she was. She didn't limit herself to just one kind of role or movie genre. From her early work in Canadian radio to becoming a big name in Hollywood, her path was marked by her determination and ability to adapt. She faced the challenges of the movie industry with resilience, keeping a strong presence in a world where many actors come and go quickly. Her contribution to the James Bond series is especially important. She set a standard for the character of Miss Moneypenny that later actresses looked up to, mixing professionalism, humor, and a slight romantic interest in Bond. This relationship added something special to the Bond movies, making them more appealing and deep. Away from the camera, her life was just as impressive. Her personal life included both hard times and victories, showing the real challenges many actors face. Her story isn't just about fame and success, but also about persistence and the human spirit. As an actress, she made a lasting impact not just through her acting, but also in how she handled herself in a constantly changing industry. She inspires many by showing that even roles that seem minor can be crucial in making a movie successful and loved by viewers. Lois Maxwell's story is about talent, determination, and the enduring appeal she brought to each role she played. Her role in cinema, especially as Miss Moneypenny, will always be remembered as a key part of her impressive journey in Hollywood. In her first portrayal of Miss Moneypenny in Dr. No, she stepped into a role initially meant for Eunice Gason. Interestingly, director Terence Young's decision to swap their roles was influenced by his perceptions of their personas. He felt she embodied a more wholesome, soap-like quality, contrasting with Gason's more sensual aura. This choice set the tone for her character, who became known for her professional, yet subtly flirtatious interactions with James Bond. Her performance in You Only Live Twice marked her fifth appearance as Miss Moneypenny, maintaining the character's consistent presence alongside Sir Sean Connery's James Bond, Bernard Lee's M, and Desmond Lulin's Q. Her portrayal in this film continued to balance professionalism and charm, contributing to the film's dynamic and maintaining the beloved chemistry within the recurring cast. Her final appearance as Miss Moneypenny was in A View to a Kill. The end of her journey with this character brought forth her own ideas about the future of Miss Moneypenny. She envisioned a potential promotion to M, showing her forward-thinking approach to her character's development. However, producer Albert R. Broccoli was hesitant, believing audiences might not accept a female M giving orders to James Bond. This perspective changed years later when Dame Judi Dench successfully took on the role of M, showcasing a shift in attitudes towards female characters in leadership roles within the franchise. Her journey as Miss Moneypenny in the James Bond series showcased her ability to bring depth and personality to a supporting role, making it memorable and significant in the larger narrative of the films. Her performances, marked by professionalism and a light-hearted charm, contributed greatly to the series' success and left a lasting impression on the franchise. Lois Maxwell worked closely with Bernard Lee in the James Bond movies, playing Miss Moneypenny in 13 films. 
These include Dr. No from Russia with Love, Goldfinger, Thunderball, Operation Kid Brother, You Only Live Twice on Her Majesty's Secret Service, Diamonds Are Forever, Live and Let Die, The Man with a Golden Gun, Bonds Basers to Hong Kong, The Spy Who Loved Me, and Moonraker. Their time together in these films stretched from the early 1960s to the late 1970s, showing her long involvement in the series. In Dr. No, where she first played Miss Moneypenny, Maxwell was a bit older than Sean Connery, who played James Bond by two and a half years. Despite this age difference, they had a great on-screen relationship. Her role as Miss Moneypenny was notable for its playful and professional nature with Connery's Bond. An important moment in her career was in You Only Live Twice, her last film with Connery as Bond. In Diamonds Are Forever, Maxwell's Miss Moneypenny and Connery's Bond didn't film their scenes together. In one short scene at the Dover port, Moneypenny in disguise gives Bond his travel papers. Even though they weren't together in this scene, it still captured the spirit of their on-screen Bond. Maxwell's role as Miss Moneypenny in these films highlighted her ability to make a supporting character stand out. Her work with Bernard Lee and Sean Connery played a big part in the success and lasting appeal of the James Bond series. She was able to keep her character consistent, but also let it evolve over time, showing her skills as an actress. Her work in film, especially as Miss Moneypenny, has made a lasting impact on audiences and the movie industry. Lois Maxwell started her movie career with her first film, Stairway to Heaven. This was the beginning of a long and memorable time in the movie industry. Despite facing tough times away from the movie world, she showed with her strength. Meeting Peter Marriott, a TV executive at an airport in Paris, was a key moment in her life. They got married in 1957, and their life together had both happy and tough times. When her husband got a severe heart problem and couldn't work anymore, she took on the role of the family's main supporter. This time in her life showed with her strong will and ability to handle hard situations. The death of her husband in 1973 was a big loss for her, especially since she was only 51. Her role as Miss Moneypenny in A View to a Kill was her last in the James Bond series. The talk with producer Albert R. Broccoli about not returning for more Bond movies was important. It showed with the end of her time with the series and the strong influence she had. The fact that she and Broccoli were the only ones left from the original Doctor, no crew shows how committed she was and the lasting impression she made on the series. Her portrayal of Miss Monopenny is remembered for its charm and intelligence and for how she made a small role important and loved in the Bond series. Her idea for Miss Moneypenny's future, like becoming M, show with her creative and forward-thinking approach, even if it didn't happen. Throughout her career, she dealt with the challenges and changes in the movie industry with poise and strength. Her story is one of talent, determination, and the resilience needed to succeed in Hollywood. Her role in cinema, especially as Miss Moneypenny, remains a clear sign of her skill as an actress and her ability to leave a strong memory with audiences and the industry.